Everybody.com. Now, this is what I call beautiful weather for playing with trucks out here today. Isn't any weather that? Yeah, that's a very good point. Hey, welcome back to Truck U. As you can see, the truck is done. It's all put together. We got the bed back on so she's looking normal, right? It fits again. We didn't mess anything up. No, not at all. Now it's time to get it out here in the elements and have some fun with it. Let's play with kind of the, uh, it's the payoff for all of our hard work, right? Well, I'm just anxious to see if the, how this whole thing is going to work. You know, I'm used to having to go over there and man do manual labor and actually crank the thing up by hand and lower up by hand. So I'm a little skeptical that these bags are going to be able to lift that heavy trailer. Listen, don't worry about a thing. I know you're I know you're a little bit worried and I'm gonna put your fears at ease. You know that's what happens though. You back up and the hitch is a little too high, you've got a crank on that thing, right? Between you and I. Who wants to do that if you don't have to, right? I'm game. I'm about to make your life easier. You know what? I don't know why, but I trust you on this. Stick with me, kid. You'll be alright. Don't all right. me down. Come on. Straight back. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. You're about a foot too high, but you're looking good. Go to the right a little. Right, right, right. Hold on, stop. Drop that baby. All right, man, hit it. Now that was really cool. I mean, I've never seen a truck's airbags used like that before. I mean, it's a whole different purpose. And here, I'm just thinking he's being lazy the whole time. Actually, you know, it just makes it a cool factor. And plus, when they come to hauling stuff like that, it makes life a lot easier, too. You have to worry about weird geometry and all kinds of stuff like that. It's funny you mentioned that. That would be the golf cart. And so many people told me at SEMA that they prefer the golf cart that I built. You know the one that I smoked you in in that golf cart build-off that we did? It oh, was you, awesome. Oh, you mean the one that's gaudy and that Rob built for you? Oh, oh, oh that's right. You cheated. I, I forgot. The editor blew that way out of proportion, if I'm being honest, <laughs> all right? But take a look at this. Now, we've got the bigger ride. We've also got more space in the wheel well, which means it's time for some bigger tires, right? For once, you and I were thinking alike, buddy. Check these out. I got these from Intercoas. They're super swamper radials, and I think I'm starting to get on board with this whole big tire thing. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger. They'll fill up the wheel well a little bit more. Now, this is cool. We'll load these up here in just a little yeah. bit, but in the meantime, I'm itching to get this bad boy out on the road. I'm with you on that. I'm driving. Of course. Bruno, this is awesome, man. We're rolling down the road in style, hauling this big, heavy trailer, and it's like you said, it's like we're going down the road in a limousine or something. This I, is comfortable. I mean, we're really pushing the limits with this thing. I know we got a 10,000 pound capacity, and with this big dump trail, we've got to be pretty close. And I'll tell you, the ride on this thing, I feel like I'm in daddy's caddy. <laughs> it's like luxury meets utility is what I'm thinking down the road. I have a new concept. Every project we do, airbags are on it. That's what I'm thinking. That I'm down with, buddy. All right, that's all the time.